Right, I'm just fitting out a BR221 Trix uh, model number 22757. Um, I bought two of these models, one from Roco and the one from Trix, which is there. The reason I bought two models is because I'm fitting a lock sound V4 and a bass reflex speaker, so I want to see how much space both models have and the Trix wins even though the, its performance isn't as good as a rope. I'm going for the tricks. reason being is because when you pull off the metal body you've got a whole lot of space in there so I can fit the bass reflex speaker in there. It runs fine it's just a little bit noisy compared to the Roco and it's only four wheel drive rather than eight and it's got conventional bulbs well, that's no big deal so that's what I'll be doing, I'll show that being fitted next. Yeah, so next step is obviously to cut off the old speaker, desolder it, just solder on the new terminals. Got some heat shrink ready to uh, wrap round and obviously use the heat gun to shrink the heat shrink to get a nice uh, secure connection. So that is ready for programming now. Yeah, so I've got the, the, the chip wired up or plugged into the ESU decoder tester and that's in line with uh, the programmer. So I'm programming it up now, if there's any problems or faults with the speaker etc and find out straight away. And just to make sure everything's fine before installing to the loco which I would then place the chip into and put on the programming track and play around with it using the ESU Lock Sound 4 programmer which is there and there's many many different settings you can do you can play around with that all day if you wanted to uh, and that's it ready to go in so on this model I've got a huge bay Ready to accept the uh, bass reflex speaker and whatever else I want to put in there. So that should be a good little project. That next up, yeah. So this is the one I decided to put on. It's not the sound file for the engine at all, but this sound file is really good. It sounds really good for a diesel engine. Uh, it's lots of functions. So you're getting full advantage of using the Loxound V4. And uh, this is how it st sounds starting up. Let's get out of that crust. So you can see it, you can see it sounds really beefy. And it'll sound better if it's inside a low coat. Uh, yep, so I've used some of the bath, bathroom um, uh, seal fixing tape to fix in the decoder speaker and the wire etc. and the decoder. So it's all fitted perfectly in there. I don't know if you can see, but there's a panel you can take out on this model so you can fire the speaker down towards the track. So it's got a really good sound once the body's on. It sounds really good. So anyway, I'll fire it up. <laughs> 